unity operator which matches them at the boundary. And you have to start looking at what happens if you take that wave for ground state. You can find the global ground state, but it will be a marked surface. Okay, but then why doesn't why is everything you said doesn't apply to the case that I did treat as well? Because there is nothing, no marking. It's not it's marking, but still, if you try and cut the process to two hands, you might again get deficiency. So again get deficiency. Huh? No, yet there is no marking. There is nothing there. Huh? So my question would, I, you know, I know they're physically different, but that is the mathematical problem you're pointing to. Yeah, I don't it's not clear to me why it's absent in my case. Huh? It's not clear to me why it's... that mathematical problem, if it's a real problem, is present in the case you're talking about while being absent in this case. I would have guessed that it might be, if it's real, it'd be present in both. But the only comment I would make is that, the cut as always, the cutoff is crucial. So. Um, you can't really go right down to the boundary. If you do that, you'll get an infinite answer, as we know. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, if you compute the entanglement without putting in a separation or some other form of cutoff, you'll get an infinite answer. But it may be that when one looks at how the cutoff comes in, you will get a... Uh, the mathematical pathology will go away. I mean, that's what happened here. See, when I talked about this... Well, it's certainly got to be raised. Um, but when I talked about the vessel functions that give this two point, this, this, this W, the square root of V, is it there? Oh, there it is, yeah. When I talked about those two vessels, this, this is the one, I forget which is which. I think this is the square root of W, and this is the square root of W inverse, or something vice versa. Um, these are very highly singular things at the coincidence, and that's when. That coincidence comes when Z approaches the boundary from one side and U approaches the boundary from the other side. However, if you if you pull them apart like this, then these things are just the nicest functions you could imagine. They're just, you know, seem to be analytic functions or something like that. So maybe that but maybe you don't have that. In other words, if you deal with this integral operator, then I think probably there's nothing to worry about at the circuit. You never talk about self adjoint extension. No, but I think I agree with you. So, so in my case, but you're claiming that if there's, a, a different problem, that if there's an actual boundary, you do have to talk about it. Take a line and take a point. Yeah. Okay. Just, uh, just a this half. And you have a harmonic you have to over the whole line. Yes. But there's a mark point. Okay? Yes. Then, when you look at the possible boundary condition at that mark point, you have a full possible sector possibilities parameters where you will be operating. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, yes. okay. So there's it's another free parameter in the it's another free parameter. Yeah. So that means that it, it is an interaction which lets you this uh, what is it tunneling uh, between the two sets. Uh -huh. There are two sets. So. And then uh, I don't know how, because there is no localization. Then the problem of localization of uh, wave, fun wave functions becomes problematic. Downwards, but you cannot localize observables. Then you can see what happens. We are not done it, but uh, on and off, this has come up. Yeah, so maybe it's, I, I, I see what you're getting at. So I, I would. Uh, it's it's asking me what I'm just trying to think. What is that you've just told me? And I think what you just told me is that. In that situation, there may be actually a new physical parameter that comes yes. into the yes. story. Yes. But once we once we choose it, once we decide on whatever grounds what its value is, um, then then I would guess we're back to some situation like a well-defined, yes. a well-posed so, mathematical property. Can yes. I ask this an answer? We take space-time region, complex space-time region. Complex space-time region. Complex. Compact. Compact. Okay. And you use your Hilbert space L2 of the region M yeah. to the volume form that you make it. Now, what, from what your calculator has seen is what takes a global black hole and restricts it to that domain. Yeah. Or global, some proper space or yeah. part of the field. Okay. Yeah. 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 Now, there's another thing one can do. One can quantize the Laplace in that or the, 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 the
You can try what is mine is box operators. Or mm -hmm. let's say Dirac operator in that domain. Then what takes the drug field in that domain? You see in this boundary, putting conditions on the boundary for self and operators. That is different problem. That is different. That is very different. Different problem. That, that is very much a different but problem. Here, in fact, if you, put, is in fact if you put boundary conditions sufficiently to, um, to make it a deterministic, I mean, you know, so that whoever version has a unique solution in the interior of that, then you'll get, then you'll just have a pure state, and then you won't have any entanglement at all. So, I mean, so the entanglement comes completely from not putting boundary conditions of that sort. I would say. Mm -hmm. Although, I mean, in your more general situation where you have a heterogeneous medium, you might need some, I mean, there might be some data boundary kind of thing coming in. But it shouldn't be the kind of conditions like Dirichlet conditions or Neumann, something that are completely thinned out. What you don't want is that the region, what you don't want is that from a space time point of view, if you have this, if this is your surface, and this is what I would call a being, and this is the extension of being in time, you don't want this region to be affected with globally hyperbolic itself. Then you will kill off all the interaction X to get them. That's all. Well. But what, the reason I brought it up is, Actually, some people do. And as you said, the way we, what we've been discussing, you don't put any boundary conditions here other than continuity or whatever. They're not boundary conditions, but whatever the conditions are. The the whatever the field should be. Yeah. Yeah. There is some global scale is some sub, sub algebra, which is lying there. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I am asking, you know, if people doing this uh, Hadamard's thesis or uh, say Bob Ball, they ask the question if you are given data only in a this complex space can be given on the metric. How do we quantize it? Okay. I know nothing about what I am is outside. Except that this complex space and medium is globally available. But I don't know what happens to the metric by the closed time like curves or whatever I would say. Okay. But there, your technique will suggest, suggest that I try to set up, you have set up the Hilbert space in that volume and I try to quantize the field. Uh, appropriate to that region. Okay. Let's say I'm a little bit lost. Uh, I just, just one thing. So should we continue this right now? Uh, but what I mean is I just think we should thank Rafael for doing the company. Good one. Can I come with you? I'm just trying to make sure that... Black red. Black red. Okay, I'll come with you. Is it okay? I go because I can... Uh, I'll do a brief continue the discussion. I'm not asking to stop. I'm just saying that people may not understand the details. But you are not understand it. I know. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, I didn't mean to. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, but it was there before and after with my stopping you. I mean, you were 